Okay, folks, today we're testing this 1972 GTO AM FM stereo radio. This is the real deal red dot stereo radio. You'll see uh, on the face there, it has that red dot in the center, and that will uh, illuminate when a strong stereo signal is tuned in on the FM dial. Anyway, a really nice original radio. Um, the tag is gone. So that's a bummer, um, but not at the end of the world. Uh, the faceplate that's on it is 69 to 72 GTO. I'm fairly certain that this faceplate can just be swapped out for an F body faceplate if you want this to fit your 70 to 77 Firebird. Um, anyway, the radio looks totally stock. The only thing I see is the uh, top of the cooling fins have been angled here a bit, which I think came into effect later in the 70s in Firebirds. So someone might have put this in a Firebird at some point. I don't know. But uh, anyway, it's a really nice radio, and we're going to test it. Um, a couple things I should tell you. I don't know if the inner knobs are original. I It came to me with just the outer knobs, so I put the inner knobs in there. They're functional. One says balance, one says tone. I would think that one would say front, rear, and one would say balance or something of that nature. Anyway, uh, we're going to test it. We have it on AM now. Uh, my AM signal is fairly weak from about the center of the dial down, so that's not the fault of the radio if we don't get many stations down deep in the AM dial. That's just where I live here, so keep that in mind. Here we go. You can kind of hear a station there. A little station, but you'll hear you'll hear the reception come in. And there it is. Any more study monies. And that blood condition be remedied. The doctors. It's COVID-19 back in the nursing. Were you checking where the virus came from? Oh, well, you know, this guy. Have sanctuary cities and states. Why does he... There's AM. Now we'll switch over to FM here. Tell jokes, but never listen. Well, let's go all the way to the end of the dial. We'll work our way back. Okay, so there we are at the end of the dial. You can see our stereo indicator light turns on there. You'll see it come on and off as I tune here. You can see it plays loud and clear. There's no static when you adjust the volume. Lots of stations. And dedication and bravery. On 101.7, the beach. Oh, I agree. And part of the reason when I when I was de nuestra actividad, nuestro mayor recurso es la historia. You see it tuning in and out there. Really good reception on this radio. Good friends, Jeff Monte. One fast track loan with an unbelievable low rate of. I didn't like the way his comedian friends. So there you see it turned off. <laughs> Strong FM signal, it turns back on. Anyway, let me show you the push buttons work. I've showed you AM and FM here. Well, I'll show you AM, AM again. So there's AM. And then we'll go back to FM. And then finally, I'll show you how to set a push button. So let's say we like this station. You pull out on the push button, anyone you want. Push it back in. No matter where you go, we can go back to this guy talking. Uh, finally, I'm going to show you right now we have it on the front channel. I have the rear channel hooked up right here. It actually accelerates the process, takes away a lot of the that there. I'm going to hook this up to it. Do that. Not you. One time. Oh, we came loose. Hold on. Bear with